Ian, this was demo number? No, it's not. not no. Uh, well, well, how many demos did you do? We've oh. got, <laughs> we've got uh, how many demos have we done today? Do you get provision? Yes, I do. Every demo I get a, uh, about 10 euro. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm delighted with that, Hasso. <laughs> Prefer if this product doesn't sell, this can have only two reasons. Our sales force bill <laughs> or our customers. Since I'm not allowed to bash our customers, it can only be you. <laughs> <laughs> Ian, thank you very much for that. Um, I, uh, this, this, is, this was only to show how fast this database is. It is the real database. It is a real customer database. It is the 280 million records of a famous company, company is here in the room, and we modified the data a little bit, so it, uh, it's anonymous. You don't recognize the company anymore, that's the trick. But to work with real data changes the world how we develop software. Now I know why we were so successful from 72 to 79 when we lived inside Empirical Chemical Limited. ICI um, in Germany and England and later in America. We had real data, real people. We didn't have to read books how to develop software. We didn't have to read books about Scrum, Agile, and X, uh, what is it called, extreme programming. We just did it because we were normal people with normal people working and we did the programs and we had real data. Back to the past is the um, theme here. Now, we did something interesting. The university did this. I said, if we have this fast database, and actually, I finally understood, as a computer science professor, it, uh, is, is, it's not a good sign that it took me so long, but I understood that the columnar storage is the real storage for Cotts theory. Cotts theory was articulated in something which is called SQL, Structured Query Language. And I asked SAP to develop a Structured Query Language on top of T-Rex, and SAP said, mm -mm, there are other schemas and languages which are more popular now, we don't do this. And I said, but for scientific reason. Okay, okay. I got a developer from SAP, two students. We developed a full-blown SQL on T-Rex. Uh, it was done because they had no meetings. They were 100% uh, allocated to the project. <laughs> it was done in two months. Scrum, Agile, and Extreme together. And the students are young and energetic, so it's, it's, it's unbelievable. They were bored after two months and said, what do we do now? And John, you may forgive me. They, they were now working with Polestar every day. They said, let's do something else. They put Excel on top. Excel has an SQL interface. It took a few days, and Excel is running via SQL on TRX. And Ian is now showing. Certainly. Thank you very much, Hasso. Well, obviously, as Hasso has said, wouldn't it be great if you could take that knowledge that we have and the experience you have in Polestar and put it into Excel? Because if you go to your department and say, can you give me an Excel spreadsheet with all the data we have? This is typically what you get back from them. Not very helpful, is it? If you're trying to find some information in that, good luck. Yeah, thank you very much for the knife, Hasso. Anyway. But wouldn't it be great if you could do this much simpler and take the technology we just saw out of SAP Business Object Explorer and put it into Excel? Well, let me show you how that would work. Obviously, let me show you how that would work. Let me show you how that would work. So perhaps, aha, somebody's listening backstage. Right. So here you can see a difference. This is obviously now we can search through that masses of data. So if we take the example that we were looking at beforehand, if I say I want to say here, I want to see stuff about inventory, I can see here about invoice sales. I just type in inv. And what will happen then, the system will go back and it will pull in information about the invoice sales. If I, let's say, I want to see that by region, I can then say, show that to me by region, and hey presto, it'll go back into the back end and pull it back in, into region. If I then say, I want to see the food products, I can just type in here food, and here I can see all the categories of food. 
So, what we're doing here now, ladies and gentlemen, we're actually Can I interrupt drilling... for a second? Bill, Bill the Gates would be really proud to see this, that you can real-time, on stage, program Excel, <laughs> and we'll then he has to learn minutes. that the database is not SQL Server, but T <laughs> T-Rex. He might think, why is this so fast? Is this fake data? These are the 280 million records underneath. Every time he creates a new screen or he hits enter for new data, we run through the 280 million records again. I cannot repeat this often enough because it took me two years to understand. How can a computer be so fast when I wait from one screen to the next sometimes five seconds? Yes, indeed. This is not to Mars, this is to Jupiter and back. Exactly, and Hasso's kid hit the nail on the head there. Every single time I click, if I say I want to go down even to a subcategory here, or if I want to then take out or look at a particular item, for example, just hot food, every single time I'm clicking, I am actually sending a request back, and those 280 million records. And now are we being get addicted. <laughs> because I, I was always known for I have some fantasy. So I'm now starting fantasizing. I would like to know this, I would like to see that. And actually, I would like to know, Bill, how we are doing in China in detail. And I get a, from Werner, I get a nice little um, Excel spreadsheet in PowerPoint in a briefing book. And when I ask a question, he said, that is a very good question. I come back to you next week. <laughs> Isn't that the same in your company? Where is information at the fingertips? The book is probably 10 years old. Where is real-time information system, SAP, in the 80s, 90s, and we're still saying it? Let us assume in a short period of time we can, we can, both in the suite, the, the information system in the suite, the business warehouse, or in the little bit dormant by design system, but the uh, winter is over soon, even in Germany, Leo, uh, I hope that the, we, I said winter is over, over for business by design now. They come out of hibernation. The bear is coming. That every single business question, I exclude Walmart because of size. Probably GE and a few other companies, but the normals, like SAP, $15 billion in revenue, because I know the numbers of SAP. I will answer every single question you have this way with Excel against the databases, with Business Explorer, or with any application which sits in the Excel Just dashboard in less than one second. That's a promise. And if I don't fulfill it, then we have to have a seminar at the university and uh, look into that. But this is a promise. Whether SAP can deliver this as a product, I leave that with you. But in theory, in the prototype, this is possible. And this should really energize us. And this is what I wanted to tell you because, thank you, Ian. You come back in a, in a second anyway. OK. Um, thank, thank you. I, 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 I cut him over short, and he said, I could do so much more for you. Um, but this is my vision, and this is my point I want to communicate today. Let's take the largest teleconferencing presence we can currently get, regardless the manufacturer. I'm not doing commercials here. This is HD quality. Some of you have those. How many does SAP have now in the world? 20. 20, and we're getting more. And we sit in a room like this, and there is the head of sales, there's the CEO, there's the CFO, there's the head of products, there's the head of services, there's a the regional manager for probably Europe and uh, United States, probably Asia. And there are a few other ones, a few assistants. And they sit around. On the desk is uh, something Microsoft is playing with, uh, the touch, large touch screen where you can point and things are happening. And we sit in the universal cockpit of information. Anybody in the world can participate. There is a little bit on the downside with the time zones. We cannot change time zones. We cannot. 